we're looking at a new line of scenery products from AK Interactive. Um, I just finished my Razor Crest from the Mandalorian spaceship, and I'd like to put it on a base or some material groundwork that looks different out of this world, you know, extraterrestrial-ish. And this product came along at just the right time. This is in um, AKI's War Game series. It's called Diorama Terrains and Enamel Liquid Pigments. Great stuff. Um, I've used AKI's groundwork material before. These are like earthy colors. Works great. So we're going to see how these bright fantasy sci-fi type colors work. And I have, I picked out a color. I picked out Sunrise Blaze, which I think looks really cool. This is a really bright color. We'll use that. I have the enamel liquid pigment here to do washes after the fact. Bring out some of the detail and I have the thinner to thin that down. We'll thin them down in these little paint wells little metal paint wells. These are great. That's from AK. I have some AK spatulas here to use to put the material down. Plus I have a couple containers of rocks. Yes, AKI big rocks. And I have some AK brushes back there. So let's take a look at AK Interactive's War Game Series Diorama Terrains and Enamel Liquid Pigments. It's time to learn about liquid pigments and dry brushing. Now you're excited, right? So I'm prepping the base for my model. And I'm going to take the razor crest here and move it over. And you can see what I've done is I've taken a really nice piece of wood and I've cut out a styrene sheet to go on top of it. It's about 60 thousandths thick. And I cut it out in an irregular shape. I don't like to cover the whole base. I like to leave enough room so that I can put a nameplate on or whatever when I'm finished. So, in order to prep this base, cut the sheet out. I took some clear transparent material, and this is like book covering material, it's just clear sheet plastic, very low tack. And I put a sheet of it over the base, I put the plastic down, and I outlined it. And then I cut to the inside edge and took that center section out so that the clear plastic goes under maybe a quarter of an inch all the way around. That way when I'm done doing all the groundwork material, I can just take this plastic off and peel it off around the edges. So the one step you have to do before you do this is to take a heavy grit sandpaper, like 40 or 60, and rough up the surface of this plastic. The reason I'm doing that is if this is a nice smooth surface, the groundwork material may not adhere really well. So let's give it a little bit of tooth. We'll prep it by sanding it down, and then we'll get moving forward with the groundwork material. We're ready to put down the AK War Game Series Diorama Terrain. This is Sunrise Blaze, nice bright color. We're going to put that on the base. I've inserted small toothpicks into the holes for the brass rods on the bottom of the model. That way when I put the material down, as it hardens, I can take these out and the holes will be there to put the model down. I have a few tools here. I have some spatulas. And I showed you AKI spatulas earlier. These are just plastic art spatulas that I have. I'm going to use that to put the material down. I have some hard bristle brushes here. These are basically to texture the surface as the material sets up, give it some you know rough texture. Uh, AKI recommends either water or acrylic thinner to thin down the material if necessary. And I also have some rocks here. So we're going to put some rocks into the base break it up a little bit. So let's get ready and let's use the Sunrise Blaze AKI War Game Terrain material and we'll get started.
so my terrain material is dry. I gave it overnight. I wanted to make sure it was nice and dry before I start putting washes on it. So this is the AK Interactive Wargame Terrain and we use Sunrise Blaze which is really bright. And the next step is the second part of this process or this product line which are the enamel liquid pigments. These are basically thin down washes of enamel in different colors. I got some rust colors. I figured we'd stay in the reds for this piece. Um, I also have their thinner, the War Game Terrain Thinner, which will thin this down if need be. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to put some washes on this to tone it down a little bit, a little less in your face. And after that, we'll do some dry brushing on it and hopefully, you know, we'll finish it up. So let's get started with the enamel liquid pigments. Make sure I get all my edges. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm liking this. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm sure my lighting's not great here, but you guys get the idea what I'm doing. So let's look at dry brushing. This is one of my favorite techniques, dry brushing ever since I read Shep Payne's books back in the 1970s doing armor models and I learned how to do washes which we did on this and then dry brushing it changed my outlook on models I mean it, it really changed the way I built and painted so dry brushing is a great technique it's almost like magic you'll see what I mean when I do this so I've taken the base and I mounted it this way so you guys could see what I'm doing and I'm gonna zoom in right now so that you can see the texture before let's bring it in really tight see that texture so that's texture and what we're going to do is let's see if I can find there what we're going to do is we're going to go in and try and highlight all these raised areas with a lighter color and when I'm done you'll be amazed at the difference so all right so the idea here is and I always have a lot of paper towels when you dry brush um, other brushes let me point this out too I'm going to use this dry brush and if you're doing really small things you grab the the best brushes to use to dry brush are square chisel brushes so little ones big ones whatever all right so we're going to try this AK dry brush what I do is I put some of the paint on the end of the brush as you can see then this is the dry part you wipe off that paint off of the brush see I'm taking it all off I just leave enough that when I drag it across the napkin here or the paper towel I can see it highlighting the raised areas that's when I know I'm good so what I'll do is just to start we'll zoom back in get right back to that spot we were looking at all right that's good now let me find that spot there it is so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start dry brushing the top of this I don't know if you can see that, but when I'm doing it, it's picking up all the little tiny rocks and, and pebbles and things in there. Can you see that? I mean, that's a big difference. So what I'm going to do is, let me zoom back here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dry brush the whole surface that way and then we'll come back and look at it. All right, let's check it out. I've dry brushed the whole surface and I'm pretty happy with the results. I think it looks really good. You can see all the detail. So, go and get the razor crest and sit it on it and see how it looks together. That's dry brushing.
AK Interactive's War Game Terrain Diorama Material and the Liquid Enamel Pigments. Did them on the base, everything came out great. We used the dry brushing method at the end and it's a great product. Can't recommend it highly enough. Good stuff.